pleased to have with us today Ms. Annette Dees Grievous as our convocation speaker. Ms. Grievous shared the Orangeburg County Fine Arts Center as a passion for acting. She has taught a variety of theater courses as well as introductory level speech communication courses to students who have ranged from age 5 to 85. Her research interests include black theater as well as the similarities and differences among students at HBCUs, historically black, colleges and universities, and PWIs, predominantly white institutions, as it relates to perception and study of acting techniques. Annette also serves on the board of the South Carolina and Theater Associate Speech and Theater Association, recently completed a board term with the South Carolina Theater Association, and is the current vice president for finance for the Southeastern Theater Conference. She is an associate professor of speech and drama and is theater program coordinator at Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina, where she has been for nearly 18 years. She received her Master of Fine Arts in Theater Performance from the University of Louisville in Louisville, Kentucky, and a Bachelor of Arts in Theater from Renault University in Gainesville, Georgia, and an Associate of Arts in Speech and Drama from Gainesville College, now known as the University of North Georgia in Gainesville, Georgia. Please welcome, please join me in welcoming us. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Annette Grievous to the stage.
which makes us who we are. Martin Seligman, a psychologist, is seen as a pioneer of Maslow's positive psychology, which is centered around six virtues, wisdom, transcendence, justice, courage, temperance, and humanity. We are taught to be virtuous people, however, some never truly grasp that concept or learn. As a theater artist, a performing artist, we study characters, purpose, and ultimately what makes the character happy or what he or she may want most. As artists, we study all aspects of life. For art intersects with every part of our well-being. It is probably the one discipline which requires you to know about business, history, math, health, science, and the list goes on. So while art can be used to study life, it can also be used for self-expression, self-discovery, to find purpose, to nurture, and to heal. Now while you may be confident in knowing who you are, where you're going, and how you're going to get there, or your reasoning for getting there, I urge you to explore your character through the arts and through communication. Psychologist Dr. Neil Burton refers to eudaimonia, a Greek word literally translated to mean good spirit, good soul, or good God and many often interpret it as happiness. But Dr. Burton says eudaimonia has nothing to do with chance and fortune and everything to do with thought and design. Compared to happiness, eudaimonia is a much deeper, fuller, and richer concept, sometimes articulated in terms of flourishing or living a life that is worthwhile, fulfilling, and elevating. With so much strife in the world today, I have come to acknowledge my purpose, embrace those things which make me happy, and accept who I am as a person. Students, you are in a place of discovery and wonder. Wolves, a Newberry education is a personal challenge to every student in pursuit of knowledge who possesses the drive to live and learn with purpose, as stated on your you are in a place which nurtures the whole student rather than just a certain part. You're at a liberal arts institution. An institution which trains students to understand the world. <clears throat> Newberry College prepares students in the Lutheran liberal arts tradition through a supportive academic community for lifelong intellectual and personal development, meaningful vocation, and engaged citizenship in a global society. By gaining knowledge in science, the humanities, and the arts. Remember the principle on which Newberry College was founded where the Lutheran intellectual tradition creatively engages the dialectic tensions inherent in the dynamic nature of human life. Art gives us hope. I urge you to expand your creativity, enhance your self-expression, explore discovery through the arts and communication. You are, you are on a road to fulfilling your purpose. Now I began by sharing what we wholeheartedly believe at Claflin University. The world needs visionaries. As you celebrate the founding of this dynamic institution, I encourage you to seek out the visionaries in the Department of, the, of Arts and Communications to explore virtue, build upon your communication, and discover yourself through art. Today, you sit among amazing, profound visionaries. Professor Matthew Fuller in theater, Professor Alyssa Anstey in music. Professor Jerry Gatch in music. Professor Jody Peeler in communications. Professor Paula Riddle in visual arts. 
the entire Department of Art and Communication. Seek these individuals out. If you cannot find time in your schedule to take a class from them, just stop by to have a conversation. Expand your creativity. Find the good. Live with purpose because our world needs visionaries. I urge you to become one because the world needs you. Thank you.